Dating and romance after the age of 60. Getting older, romance and dating. Hello y'all, I'm Diana Brienne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I just share with you my perspective on different topics as is with this one. I hope you like, share, subscribe to all five of my channels. Links are pinned to the top of the comments section below. If you connect with me, likely I will connect with you as well. Well, I got to thinking today about love and romance over the age of 60. And, you know, I've been married about 30 years. And so, you know, uh, people would say, well, what do you know about love and romance after the age of 60? Well, I have love and romance in my life, but I'm not dating. I don't need to date. Well, I date my husband. <laughs> And yet I have single friends that are in the dating world or have been in the dating world over the age of 60. And so I can share with you some of their experiences of what dating was like for them. For some, it was very successful. They had successful outcomes. They found someone, they, got, they fell in love and got married. And I'll tell you a good story in the beginning. It was an aunt, an aging aunt. She was about 85 years old and her husband died. She lived in a small town, this is way before the internet, and there was an older gentleman who was also 85, and his wife had passed on. I don't know who whose spouse had passed on first. Anyhow, they had remembered each other from years and years ago, and they reconnected, and they got married, and they lived out the remainder of their years very, very happy. So it can happen, okay? And yet... There's also stories where people are very frustrated when they go out after the age of 60 because dating is very different as we get older. We have different expectations. You know, when you're 20 years old, you don't own anything. No one owns anything. And, you know, it's more, a lot of times, uh, it's about the superficial. But as we get older, we often look at, you know, where that other person is. How is their health? How's their finances? How's their family relationships? Um, all kinds of things and also people come into relationships with their own agendas and some people never want to get married again some people do want to get married again some people um, uh, have uh, you know family members who are opposed to them getting married again some people have history it may be great history but it's a lot of history behind them that just can't be locked up and tossed away when you're trying to create new history with that person and so we have to keep a lot of things in mind um, dating after the age of 60 there can be health issues like I said there can be financial issues there can be high expectations of what a person wants that may not be readily available available to them. A lot of people turn to the internet. Um, the internet is like the wild, wild west. Not everything that we see is real and true. For some people, it works well. For other people, it doesn't. Um, sometimes meeting someone on the internet that is, is real and legitimate, they may be on the other, other side of the world or for, somewhere a long ways away. And so that can pose issues um, when you date online. Although for some, it has worked well. Um, for others, it hasn't. It's been very disappointing to them. Um, perhaps they can't find anybody that they have anything in common with. Maybe there's not even anybody available to them, they feel. And, um, or maybe the, the people that are out there have too many problems. For me personally, if I were single, I would not be in the dating world. I would not want to be in the dating world. I would date people as friends, but then that's kind of how I did it when I was single. I dated people as friends and got to know them first. Um, a lot of people don't want that. They don't, they want to jump right over that friendship part and go right to the romance, right to the marriage altar, so to speak. And often that doesn't work out all that well. I think that getting to know someone slowly is often the best way. The issue with us getting older is a lot of older people think, I don't have that much time. And do I want to put time into a relationship and it maybe not turn out the way I think? Maybe that person's not what I think and then I put all this time and energy. For me, I would not want to use my time and energy um, trying to get to know someone. I would rather get to know them through an activity or through something we have in common or, you know, some other way. But I don't want to have to give forth a lot of time and energy um, that I could be using for myself and, and other things. I mean, that it's that way in the dating world 
for just about anybody um, at any age. And yet, especially, I think it's more significant for people over the age of 60. So, do I see successful um, stories for people over the age of 60 who do find love and romance? Absolutely. Um, usually, it comes with a lot of effort, um, kind of like a numbers game. It's sort of like they've had to um, really, you know, maybe they've dated many, many people to find the right one. Other times, um, it just does, you know, they, they were very fortunate. They found the right person right up front for whatever reason in whatever way. Um, other people have simply decided to give up and not date anymore because they were just frustrated and they wanted to use their time in a much better way. And so I think it's to each his own and every situation's different. Like I said, I had the old aunt who found a great, you know, found, was very happy um, at the latter part of her life and, and his life, um, you know, and meeting someone and then getting married. Um, or meeting somebody again, I guess she knew him originally. And um, so, you know, being open to it, I think for me, I would be open to it, but I probably would not put forth the, a lot of effort beyond friendship. Because for me, I always built my relationships as friends first, getting to know that person. And, um, and that was important for me at any age. And I think that's a mistake. You know, I consider it a mistake when people just jump right over the friendship part because then you really miss an important element of who another person is and go right to the romance. And uh, But like I said, everybody's different to each his own. Um, people have to find what works for them and there's no one size fits all in my opinion. For some, the dating world works wonderful. For others, it doesn't work out so well. And, uh, and, it, and it can be a bit frustrating for some, especially in the older age group or even in younger age groups. But that doesn't mean that, um, that you quit trying or quit being open necessarily. It just means that, um, uh, you know, I think going into the dating world with, with correct expectations of what it's about instead of a make-believe expectation often can be the best thing that one can do. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I do hope you like, share, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.